And pretty crowded out on that dance floor. So the second heat now to start their samba. Steve Lund and Maya Bach from Denmark. It's uh, 23, does include football and music. Dancing when he was 15. In fact, my 22 year olds now, but uh, only been dancing for two years. Not quite an achievement to uh, make it to this kind of level in such a short space of time. Colin James, Alan Fletcher, and Donnie Burns. Certainly picking the best brains around. That's Sandro Cavallini. Carmen Vincelli from Germany. Two German couples have uh, made their way through to these semi finals. There's 12 couples in the semi finals from an original 62 competitors from, would you believe, 35 countries. Fifteen have made it through, not yes. four. Sorry for that. So the first dance now over. And uh, the next one will be the cha-cha-cha. Bit of a breather for the dancers. A lot of support here. Now a complete change of character. Firm, quick steps, very important. Doesn't slide across the floor. Got to be very firm. And the rhythm, of course, very, very strong indeed. Number 10 on the left of your screen, there they are. Ralph Muller and Olga Muller Omachenko. Came over from Russia, and uh, these two were brought together by their coach, and eventually married. A very, very strong partnership indeed, and we'll take some beating in this European Championships. Bruno Petit and Corinne Pion from France. And uh, these two have done well to make it through to these semi finals. The first heat of the cha cha cha. And warmly received here in the Bercy. So a look there at uh, Ralph and Olga. They really are dancing with tremendous confidence. Couple with great charisma. Sandro Cavallini and Carmen Vincelli, the other German couple. Fabulous hit movement there from Sandro. Yeah. 
And that really is great. He's just certainly living the part. That's Viktor Nikowski and uh, Larisa Davidova from Russia. Number 59. Well, not the experience of the two German couples, but nevertheless looking very good indeed. <laughs> Just look at the expressions there from Sandro. Is that a man with confidence? I think so. So once again, the couples change over. And uh, cheers of approval and support from the crowd. As we move on now to the third dance in the semi-finals, this the rumba. Again, a complete change of mood. So we've got Paul Richardson and Lorna Dawson from England. These two really will be hoping to make their way through into the finals. Remember, just six couples. Number 15 here make it into those finals. Dance looks very graceful indeed. The rhythm, incredibly difficult. It really does take hours of practice to get uh, neat footwork and uh, keep the rhythm in time. I can tell you these couples have danced a few rounds to make it through to the semi-finals. And uh, by the end of the competition, they have just about danced their feet off. So now the second heat of the rumba. There the Dutch couple. Ruth van Amstel and Julie Fryer. Saint Dave. Uh, only been back together for about eight months now. <laughs> Just looking at this, you'd never think they'd been apart. certainly capturing the sensuality of the rumba. Number 
these two, the favourites. Ralph Muller and Olga Muller Omolchenko. The German champions and uh, silver medal winners in both the World and the European Championships last year. Welcome back, and now the Paso Doble. Just two dances to go. Again, the German national champions really relishing in performing the Paso Doble in front of this crowd. looking for good quick turns and sharp head movements. Of course, the Paso Doble, the man will train the role of the Toreador and the lady that of the cape. My word, these two really will take some beating. That's the Slovakians there, couple number 70, just uh, leaving the floor. But uh, I was, of course, referring to Ralph and Olga. And uh, there they are. They're demonstrating why they're the twice German champions. Second heat, and then Henrik Osbeck and Jeanette Sulegar from Denmark. Well, a big moment for these two. They've done well to make it through to the semi-finals. Now they've relish a place in the finals a little bit later on. Sandro and Carmen. Second of the Germans in this competition. Quite incredible how they really changed their role. Carmen there, thanking the audience for their applause and support. Certainly a very, very difficult task in store for the judges. Seven judges, all from different countries. They've got the unenviable task of uh, choosing six to go through to the finals. The judges from Slovakia, Norway, France, Belgium, Germany, England and Holland. We'll we move on now to the final dance, the explosive jive.
does take an incredible amount of concentration to perform a good jive. Probably the most physically demanding of the five dances. And of course, this one at the end of the competition really does take it out of the dances. Burns and Jane Littleton from England. Both age 27. Train in South London. Twice winners of the closed British Championships. And, uh, they've been the number one dance couple in England for the last couple of years. Well, looking good here too. John Burns and Jane Littleton. Well, the competition here, very, very stiff. Let's hope they make it through into the finals. Second heat. And there, Giacomo Stegaglia and Carla Grillotti from Italy. Giacomo 23, Carla 20. His hobbies include tennis. Carla says she just likes to travel. Coached by Alan and Hazel Fletcher. To the Italian champions. and a little warm. So here we go with the first of those five dances, the samba. Well, be a brave man to bet against these two. Ralph Muller and Olga Muller Omolchenko. There's the British couple. John Burns and Jane Littleton. Champions looking in fine form. Victor Nikowski and Larissa Davidova really have done exceptionally well to make it through to these finals. Representing Russia. And a fine achievement from them. Really relishing the experience. Well, I expect a little bit of tension out there. 
Always good to get that first dance out of the way. Of course, the second dance will be the cha-cha-cha. A little bit of a breather now for the dancers, just to regain their composure. Sandro Cavallini and Carmen Vincelli from Germany, wearing number 11 in the background. Stay with them. Work from Carmen. And another look at the Russians. Cha-cha, a little bit tamer to that of the Germans. Not as crisp. <laughs> there, two down, three to go. With uh, Louise and Julie in second place, and Sandro and Carmen. Second German couple in third. Long way to go yet. But we haven't had the dance for the cha-cha-cha. As we move on now to the third dance, the rumba. The leaders at the moment. And Olga Muller. Now, a chance to compare. Probably uh, the Muller's closest rivals, Louise Van Amstel and Julie Feyer from Holland. Maybe looking for a good performance now in this rumba. Well, the Dutch couple gave that everything. Louise Van Amstel and uh, Julie Freyer. They're going to push the Germans every inch of the way. Move up one place into fourth place. Now, the Paso Doble. Sandro Cavallini and Carmen Vincelli. Third place.
cheers you can hear for the Dutch couple who uh, really were performing well just out of sight of the camera very entertaining indeed yeah, the English couple John Burns and Jane Littleton place and be something if they could win a medal here and the Russians finished on the floor that's so for John and Jane there from England and that's likely to be where they'll finish a good battle going on for second place and all the performers now showing their appreciation to the crowd. We move on now to the final dance. Is that the jive? Ralph Muller and Olga Muller Omilchenko looking in fine fettle. Fabulous footwork. They're the favourite with the crowd, there's no doubt about that. Ruth Van Amstel and Julie Fryer. Well, these two really have enjoyed themselves this afternoon. Showing their appreciation to the tremendous support they've had.